is going on, my YouTube friends? What in the world's in my garage, man? Huh? What is she doing with her car in my garage? Man, oh man, I tell you what, I think she's taking over. She's got her garage, she's got my garage. Where am I gonna have a garage, huh? <laughs> Anyhow, she's got the Shelby in here. Yes, she does. And the reason why, because she epoxied the floor in her she garage. So I got my Mach 1 and my other Mach 1. Papa Mach and the Mach 1 over at my dad's in his garage. And I got her car in my garage and stuff scattered all over the place. So it's a mess. It's a mess. So anyhow, let's go look at her garage and see what she's done. Yeah, buddy. Looks good. Looks real good. But I think it takes a couple days before she can drive her car in the garage on that epoxy. So let's go look. First, we have to see the Shelby. She's over there hiding in the corner so she can get videoed. And she's giving me an evil look. I should video her anyhow, huh? Yeah, yeah. She got her car in my garage. Her car in my garage. And then the Suzuki's over here. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. I got a fan going. Because my garage is so cool. So, yeah, buddy. Shelby. All right, let's go look at her so garage. Here's her she garage, which I'm sure you guys have seen it before. So, I told her to bring my big fan over. Put it in there to circulate some air to see it, you know, to get it dry a little bit better. I can't walk on the floor. But, uh, there's her garage door and, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So she did a nice job. You know, she got tape around the edges and everything. And did a nice job. And we got her lights up. I got one down there that's burnt out. I think I did that. I think I broke it. So she's got lights and everything in there. She's got a little Shelby sign. GT350 sign. But yeah, she did a pretty nice job on it. Yeah, and this garage, it's nice. I mean, we got storage up top. It's the Amish garage. This is a 12 by 32. I wish we would've got a 16 by 32, but you know, at the time, uh, we wasn't thinking. She was just happy to get her she shed. She garage, so. We'll probably, I don't know what we're going to do with the walls, if we're going to do anything. I mean, we might draw a wall in one day or something like that, but hey, it's up to her. This is her garage. We'll fix it up to her specs. Yeah, buddy. But yeah, she did a nice job. Did a real nice job. All right. Before turn I turn it around, let's take a, let you guys take a look at her she garage, because we got the ramps. I got actually two ramps together here, so I combined them, so we made it longer. So when her car drives up there, the front splitter don't drag. So we got these right here. So it goes on there and it goes up there. So works out pretty good. But I really think we need to, because they kind of sunk in a little bit down. So we need to break, work and put something underneath there and raise it up a little bit. But uh, it's a nice building. And at the time we paid like $7,000 for it. And you couldn't build it for that. So today, I think you go to buy one of these today with the door and the window on it, you're probably looking at more like 10. But still, at 10 grand, it's not a bad deal. But the next time I buy one, it'll be a 16 foot wide. But let's hope I don't have to buy another one. But then again, maybe I should buy another one so I can have storage in the backyard. <laughs> at one time, I wanted to take this and sink it back into the fence. You know. But yeah, works out pretty good. Pretty nice she garage. Like I said, she's got a window down there, you know. So I told her to put the fan in here so we can circulate some air in there, you know. So one day when she gets ready, we might throw some drywall up in here. We'll see what happens, you know. Yeah, buddy. All right, let me turn this around. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. Her car goes in there nicely, you know. We never, you know, did anything with the grass right here because she don't drive it every day. So we ain't got no tracks coming in the grass or whatever, you know. So lawn still looks good and everything. So it's nice. It's nice to have. And like I said, though, if I ever buy another one, it'd be a 16-foot wide, you know. And like I said, the 12-foot, it's perfect for her. But, you know, there, you don't have a lot of room to work around the car. You can, but there, you could have more. Guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all are awesome. And if anybody tells you any different, you tell them come see me and I'll tell them you're awesome. 
Have a great rest of your day, night, whatever time it is you watch this.